Hey all, and welcome back for another Health Icons Patreon Q&A session. This month, uh, I guess people are uh, really looking forward to seeing what I thought about E3 and whatnot. Well, at least one of our patrons is. But uh, what else have people been asking me? Me and Tom, the leader of the group, the least talented one among a group of very talented people. Uh, anyway, question one. This comes to us from Spa, our very own Sparanda. Uh, he may not be uh, fully part of the group anymore, but uh, he's always here in our hearts. He asks, which game in the Sega-Fon are you personally looking forward to the most? That's a very interesting question, Spa. Mostly because, um, you know, I don't want to offend any of the runners by not picking their games, but uh, you asked me, so uh, I will answer. Let's take a little look at the schedule here. I'm not going to pop it up because it's already uh, pinned on my Twitter page and whatnot. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Obviously, I'm playing Sonic Forces and uh, Sonic Mania Plus for the uh, the fun, but I don't want to pick any of mine. So uh, let's go on down the list. Um, Condemned by Snake Row could be pretty good. Uh, then we have Rystar from Flame, love Rystar. Super Monkey Ball with Tana, should be a laugh, a laugh and a half. A Comic Zone with Snake, should be pretty interesting. Or Panzer Dragoon, ooh, very nice. But yeah, there's not really any one game I'm super looking forward to. Um, we do have um, Stefan from FTCR playing Jet Set Radio for us, so if that's not changed, that should be pretty interesting. But uh, really, I'm looking forward to all of it, because uh, Sega has obviously been a big part of my life. And uh, hopefully we uh, raise a tiny amount of money for Child's Play. So, um, yeah, give often, give generously, as much as you can, as often as you can. It all goes to a good cause. Thank you, Spar, for your question. Question two comes to us from Silverdude. What would you say was the biggest surprise you got from E3 this year? Ooh, uh, that's tough. A lot of people said this E3 wasn't that great, and I have to, I have to beg to differ there. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I don't think there was, like... Tons of like 2017 tier announcements, but uh, we had Devil May Cry 5, we had Star Fox in that um, Starlink game or whatever it was called. Uh, Beyond Gun Evil 2 continues to impress. Obviously, you had Smash Bros. Ultimate. But for me, I think I'm going to say the biggest surprise was um, Pirates of the Caribbean being back in Kingdom Hearts 3. Because if you asked me beforehand, like, would you want Pirates back in Kingdom Hearts? I'd say probably not. Because, uh, I don't know, Port Royale was fine in Kingdom Hearts 2, not the most exciting of worlds. But it seems they've taken what's best about Dead Man's Chest and set it like during At World's End, which apparently is Nomura's favourite Pirates of the Caribbean film. So, you know, I'm happy to defer to him on what his favourite film is. Because it looks great, you've got like pirate ship combat, you've got Sora giving it all this in a pretty slick looking pirate costume. And just, yeah, just the scope and scale of it is amazing. And it just, it's basically my pick of the show, Kingdom Hearts 3. But uh, yeah, I would definitely say um, Kingdom Hearts 3 was the biggest surprise, because we also had Frozen as well. Expected, but uh, it still looks great. Pirates was not expected, that was in none of the leaks that I uh, read about Kingdom Hearts 3. So I guess by default that's the biggest surprise, so yeah. Thank you Silver Dude, for your question. Question number 3 comes to us from Crawl12. What is your favourite scary movie? I'm going to be honest with you, Crawl, I don't really watch horror all that much. I'm not really like the type of guy who likes being scared. Which is weird because if there's ever like a ghost sightings or stories thread on a forum. Chances are I'll be reading it in the dead of night, which I probably shouldn't because of anxiety and shit. But uh, if you're gonna ask me what's my favorite scary movie, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to say Scary Movie Two, because uh, I'm just that silly. Also, I think the original two scary movie films were brilliant. So uh, what can I say? I like schlock, but uh, I respect the classics like um, you know Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, stuff like that. But uh, I like a bit of comedy in my horror. It helps diffuse stuff. Thank you, Crawl, for your question. Next question comes to us from Nocturne Privigini and promises to be probably the dumbest question they've asked yet. Nocturne asks, what's the story on Konami? Why do you despise them so? I'm not actually sure if I've made any like super biting statements against Konami thus far. Most of the information I have about them comes from Jim Sterling and obviously he hates the pants off of them and right, rightfully so in a lot of cases, but uh, I just see them as like a very incompetent 
like development studio for the most part with how they treated Kojima and all the uh, people involved in that studio and so on and so forth. But I have to say Super Bombman R has gone from strength to strength and while Metal Gear Survive looks like shit, David Hayter is back to voice Snake in both Super Bombman R and Smash Bros Ultimate so uh, who knows, maybe they're trying to work to fix the toxic work environment but um, hate is a strong word. And uh, I reserve that for things and people I actually do hate, and those are few and far between, but uh, interesting question. Thank you, Nocturne, for submitting it. Next question comes to us from Shadow Reaper. What is some rare British slang? Can you tell us some? Not off the top of my head, but uh, I can um, But I can look up a 30 quirkiest British slang words every American should know article and read some off for you. Uh, let's see, scrummy is one. I think that's meant to be like uh, delicious and whatnot, but uh, let's actually look at the gallery here. Bagsy. Shouting Bagsy is the equivalent of claiming shotgun on the front seat or dibs on the last cupcake. Do not violate the rules of Bagsy. See, I should know that. I say that shit all the time back in the day, but uh, I don't know. As I get older, I guess a lot of these useless slang words start to filter out of my mind as I hang out with more and more Americans, you know? What else has this got for us? I'm going to go do a few. Bloke, you guys should already know. Stereotypical way of referring to a British man. Uh, bog roll. Toilet roll. Botched when something goes poorly, I guess. Budge up, move up, cheesed off, pissed off, chips, you know, those um, thin slices of potato. Not crisps, that's what you guys call potato chips over there. Chuckle block, things are very hectic and um, busy, I guess. It was chuckle block, as it were. And uh, let's just scroll through something you guys might not know. Oh, I'm going to finish on my favourite one. Dosh. Benjamins and books describe US currency. Refer to pounds as dosh or bread when you're paying up during your UK trip. Thank you to Shadow Reaper for asking the question. And thank you, goodhousekeeping.com, for saving my ass. Next question. Ronald D. Rankin asks, What are your top five 3D Sonic stages to play? Ooh, that's interesting, because there's a lot of those, but um, just off the top of my head, uh, number one, Speed Highway as Sonic, especially the At Dawn section. Uh, number two, uh, Spigonia Day, a uh, rooftop run day from Sonic Unleashed specifically. Uh, I love the festival vibe from the Generations version, but I prefer the original in terms of gameplay. Uh, number three, Holoska Day, I suppose. Call Edge Day, also from Unleashed. Love that. Um, hmm... See, this is tough, because now I'm kind of having to struggle to uh, think up some. And I know there's some really good ones here and there. But, uh... Ooh, Final Rush from Sonic Adventure 2. Love that. Much better than Final Chase, I have to say. Because it's hectic, the scenery is great, the level design is cool and dangerous, which is perfect for a final level and whatnot. And, um, hmm... The fifth one, you say? The fifth one. I'm actually looking up like forums here to see what people actually think. Speed Highway and Rooftop Run is coming up a lot as well. And um, I don't want to say like City Escape because everyone mentions City Escape. Oh, of course, Egg Fleet from Sonic Heroes. Perfect. I'm so good that I never made it into Generations, but hey-ho, maybe down the line. So you have one from Sonic Adventure, a couple from Sonic Unleashed. Uh, we have one from Sonic Adventure 2, and we have one from Sonic Heroes. So yeah, there you go. Thank you, Ronald, for your question. And the final question we have today comes to us from Mauricio Cuervo. Sorry if I mispronounced that, mate. What are some fan remixes of certain soundtracks from your favourite show slash games that you like to hear? Ooh, everyone's asking me the questions that requires me to look up stuff today. Uh, let me look up Pyramid Cave Remix. And it should be here somewhere. Keys to Ruin Remix. I know there's one in particular here that I really like. There was a dude who made Sonic remixes ages ago. And I cannot remember his name. Uh, he started doing, like, modern and classic stuff for, um, like, generations and whatnot. And then he stopped doing modern ones, which was a... Uh, a little bit sad, but for the life of me, I cannot remember his name. Maybe I'll just cut so I'm not blathering and whatnot. Nico CW, that's the guy. He made a bunch of like Sonic remixes and whatnot. So yeah, I would say he's a pretty good like Sonic remixer and the like. 
And um, yeah, that should answer your question. I feel I've wasted enough of your time, as is. Obviously, shout outs to like Silver Gunner and so on, but uh, I like my remixes straight instead of uh, quirky and silly. But uh, you do good work all the same, so thank you very much. And that'll do it for this instalment of uh, the Hellfire Commons Patreon QA, guys. I'm going to start taking questions for uh, July's thing, roughly before the Segathon starts on July 16th, just so I have time to like get it out of the way and whatnot, so be on the ball there, because the deadline for that will pop up pretty much soon after I've started like taking questions and whatnot. But uh, here's everyone who's currently pledged. Thank you all for uh, currently supporting HFC and whatnot. Remember, if you're on the $25 and up tier, please just pause until the end of July and everything should be hunky dory. And uh, once July 30th slash 31st rolls around, you can repledge for quick looks and whatnot and I will start taking orders. So yeah, lots of good HFC stuff to look forward to. See you next time, guys, for another Health Icons Patreon Q&A sesh. Bye-bye.